What's up everyone? This is Bill with BLR Tuning. You guys know what time it is. Today's watch is the Invicta Akula. You may have seen this one before in one of the previous videos. Really cool watch. Love rocking this one. Everybody wants to ask questions about this watch. It's got two time zones. That inside watch is a mechanical watch and the outside one is battery operated. Anyway, today we got a video for you guys. We're going to show you install of our brand new product. Um, you may have seen for the Can-Am Riker, the Panther Customs front end. So that is the new hood and new front fascia. Um, you can look online and look up where to purchase that. Uh, we'll have some links below where to get it from. And then this is our brand new three-piece radiator grill for that front end. So this doesn't fit your regular front end. This only fits the Panther Customs front end. So keep that in mind, okay? Um, you'll be able to see it and grab it today and it will be on sale upon launch for about the first two weeks And then it will go back up to regular price uh, You'll have the link below on our website, but you can go check it out blrtuning.co at the top of the page Click on the Can-Am Riker parts and accessories. You should see it right there on that first page You'll see when you head over to our website that you have the option to purchase the center grill by itself or you can purchase the two side pieces by themselves and the two side pieces this means you could mix and match the colors then you'll also see a separate listing for the three-piece set and then of course you'll see our freedom edition which is a red white and blue setup so we left a room there for a lot of different customization for you to be able to grab what you want and match your color scheme or paint job on your can-am riker and you see an entire section just for the panther customs grill at the top of the page or in the menu tab if you're on your smartphone. You may know already that we were the first ones to create the radiator grill for the Can-Am Riker and I believe we've sold almost, I think we're like almost 8,000 units sold since 2019. It's the most popular product that's on the market today for the Riker. Um, and we expect this to be no different and that's also going to depend on sales for that new Panther Customs front end. It is an expensive front end. But it does look really amazing. Okay, so we're going to show you the install of our new product. And then, um, like I said, you'll be able to grab it in a range of colors. I have a few samples I can show you guys here. And then you'll also see it uh, listed as a separate listing for the Freedom Edition. So that would be uh, a white center with a red and blue uh, side piece. So you can do that red, white, and blue theme. Okay, and that would require, you know, obviously we're changing paint three different times in the paint booth. So usually that ends up being just a little more expensive, but it looks really awesome. And then we will have some of the, like the frenzy designs, like you'll see our vinyl wrap on our bike has that uh, pink and blue and white frenzy design. So it would be really cool to do like a pink center with blue sides, something like that, or a blue, white, and pink. So we will have a couple options. We know that, color, that frenzy is available in like yellow, green, uh, the pink and even orange so maybe we'll mix and match these so that way you can grab you know a pink one and an orange one something like that if you guys don't see something available on the website and you want it just hit me up let me know we'll figure it out we'll add it as an option maybe like if you wanted a black one and a purple one maybe you want a green center or something like that something that you don't see as a choice just hit us up blrtuning.tech at gmail.com or you can get all of us on our phone numbers on the website as well. Go to look us up, blrtuning.co. Okay, so the way this is gonna install, it will come with zip ties in the box. It'll just use zip ties to install. There won't be any drilling required. And then I do have some other samples here, some of the other colors, so you can see like this is our gloss pink. Really nice little pink there. Matches that uh, Frenzy vinyl wrap really good and some of our other parts that we have available. And then here we got our yellow. So this is our gloss yellow. And then you can see this is gloss blue. Okay, and like I said, these will be painted. Both sides are finished. So you can install this on the left or right. And it won't matter. They're the same on both sides. And then here we have gloss white as a center. So for example, that frenzy that we have vinyl wrap might look good with a blue and pink side piece and a white center. You know, and then it'll look really sharp and match the vinyl wrap. So stuff like that we will have available. And if you don't see it, just get a hold of us, let us know what you need, and uh, we will make it happen. So I wanted to show you real quick, I do have a couple samples here of just the color. So 
Hopefully the camera's picking that up pretty good. That's our new gloss teal and then our new gloss green as well. You see it on the white here. So we will have these colors available as well. Gloss teal, gloss green, those are some of our new limited edition colors. And then obviously we have our gloss orange limited edition as well. So we have a wide range of colors to choose from for this new three piece design. Like I said, you'll be able to pick your side pieces and your center piece separately so you could match any vinyl wrap or paint scheme that you're going with really easily. Okay, so let's install this onto the front fascia. Okay, so here is the front fascia, the Panther Customs front end. You see how the design looks there. It's got these nice big openings, so you'll be able to see our radiator grill behind it really good. So this is your, if you're sitting on the bike, this is technically the left side, right side, and center. Okay, so you can see how I've put the zip ties through here. Okay, in a fashion where you won't really even be able to see them once they're zip tied down and we do use some black industrial zip ties. So you'll fold the zip tie like this and then up here at the top, you can see this first little diamond opening will feed that end through and this end through. Okay, and we're gonna do that in six locations on the center piece. We're gonna install the center first and then the left and right side. Okay, we're just gonna install one piece at a time. That'll make it easier because when you flip it over, if any of these zip ties fall out, you have to flip it over back again. Definitely recommend a towel or a blanket underneath you so you don't met, scratch anything. So you can see we have this one right here. So it's kind of in the middle, but on the very edge here where it's least noticeable. And remember when the Riker is sitting down flat on the ground, you will not see any of these zip ties. They will all be hidden really good you'll only see that pop of color back there. Okay, and the brighter the color, obviously, the more it's gonna stand out. Um, but this is also designed to stop rocks and road debris, right? It took a lot, of, a lot of testing, a lot of testing the airflow, all that to make sure that this is gonna work and not mess up anything on the bike, but also protect the radiator just like our original radiator protective grill does for the normal front fascia. Um, this grill obviously has a little more protection than the factory grill, uh, the factory uh, front fascia, but this is some really good steel. It's it's spring steel, but it's also nice and thick, so it's heavy duty. It can withstand a solid hit, like a 60 mile an hour golf ball size rock is not going to blow through it, and that's why we go with this steel, and then we use industrial paint. It gets baked in an oven, dries for 72 hours before it gets packaged up. Okay, so it's not going to chip or scratch or rust on you or anything like that. Okay, so then you can see our bottom here. We just scooted over one opening, and that's where our zip tie feeds through. Again, we fed the big part of the zip tie through this hole and the skinny part through here. Okay, so that's all we're doing is we are folding the zip tie. Okay, put a crease in it right there, and now we are just going to go through here like this. Okay. Okay. And we're staying up high here because you're only going to see what's down low on the Riker. So on the Riker, when you look down, standing up in front of the bike, you'll only see this part here and this part here. You don't really see up under this lip. So that's why we put our zip ties up high and over to the sides, places where it's not noticeable. Okay, so now we have them. That's why I say crease them like that, because now you'll see that I can flip this over and none of the zip ties fell out. So now we'll spin it around, we'll get you up on the tripod, we'll get our uh, grill, our centerpiece installed, and then we'll get the other sides done. Okay, I got the camera up on the tripod and I have the Panther Customs front end sitting here and we're gonna be installing white, blue, and pink on this one. Uh, to match our vinyl wrap that we have on the bike currently. So that's why we're installing this. And you guys seen that full three piece red set it's gonna look really sharp as well. So now we wanna set, kind of set this on here, kind of see where these zip ties line up. Remember, we need to get them all through the grill before we uh, zip tie any down or connect any down. So, and another way you could do this is install uh, maybe one of them and then, you know, get it zip tied 
and then you know install another one so it's kind of like you know you're doing one at a time to try and see where everything lines up because this part can be a pain in the rear not hard i mean like i said this doesn't really require any tools to do this part of it so it's not super hard or anything just just gonna have to take your time here and get everything through where it needs to be kind of line it up um, you can see how i have aligned everything so that way it well hopefully you can see <laughs> but you can kind of get the idea and see where everything needs to be uh, lined up here we actually take this one and we're just setting it down and looking to make sure we understand where our zip ties line up but you can see how these three are lined up now we'll work on lining up the other three and then we'll zip tie it down in place we'll, before we pull it tight we'll make sure we move this grill and position it to where it is covering up every opening in the fascia and sitting on there squared up and then we'll position our right and left and we'll get our zip ties through again they're going to go up on the top here and one at the bottom and you'll see how that looks here in a second so let me get this guy lined up and zip tied in place to show you what it looks like up close so i got the centerpiece in gloss white all installed zip tied in place so you see how it looks there with just a white centerpiece you could order it like that and not order the sides if you wanted to and you can see how that looks okay so it really give you that little touch of color there still allows plenty of airflow and then i'll flip it over here i put it down on the ground here so that white shows up a little better on camera versus the white towel that i had sitting on so you can see how our zip ties are we'll cut these off we'll cut them down as short as we can right up next to the little locking tab but they are all pulled tight and like I said, if you re rewind that video, you can't see those zip ties at all from the front end. You would never even know that they're zip tied in place. Um, we don't use any right here dead center because, like I said, this is spring steel. If a rock hits this, we want it to be able to spring and spring back. If we zip tie here in the center, it's the same as our other radiator grill, our normal one for the front fascia. Uh, if we zip tie right here in the center, what happens is when a rock hits that, the whole front fascia takes the brunt of that and can end up breaking the plastic or something else. And so we don't want that. The whole idea behind this spring steel and the reason for using this type of metal is so it can push in and pop back out. Okay, so we'll get the sides installed and I'll show you where those zip ties go. Okay, so when we're putting on our left and right side pieces, here's the way we've done it here. Okay, so we've ran one zip tie right here and then on the inside of this piece, one here, one here, that gives it plenty of support and still allows it to flex and move like it needs to. Okay, so one there, one there, you can see how that's done. And then on the outside of that ring down here. Okay, and then obviously we'll flip it over. So you got three zip ties on each side. We'll flip it over, zip tie it in place. And I'll show you what that looks like once I get both these installed. Okay, so you can see here we got our pink and our blue piece installed. So that is our left and right side and then our white center. Now we can go through and cut all of our zip ties. And I just left them long so that we could kind of get a better idea and see exactly where they are in the video. So you see we just used the three and you can see this, this these side pieces because of just the variation in the plastic here. We wanted to leave them just a little bit longer so you do have a room to move them around and make sure everything fits really good. So you see how they're installed there. You got two at the top in the center opening and then one at the bottom in the outer or inner side of that opening. So you can see how that is. Okay, and then I'll cut these off and I'll flip it around. We'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so here you go. This is what the final install looks like. So you see really awesome, you see that color that touch of pink touch of white and the touch of blue so it's going to match our vinyl wrap really nice really clean install like i said you can't see how it's installed at all when you're sitting here looking at it in person or on camera um, and then when you tilt it down like this i mean when you walk up to the front of the riker and you're standing back behind it you'll see that blue white and pink on there but you can't see where any zip ties are so it's a really clever little design that we did to get it to where it looks you know like it's supposed to be there so anyway that is our three-piece radiator grill we'll go set it up on the bike get some photos of it and get some a uh, little video here at the end show you guys what it looks like
Check out our website, BLRTuning.co. Lots of colors to choose from. Again, you can do them all three, one color. You know, all three in green, yellow, white, orange, uh, matte black. We even carry them in primer gray. We've always had a primer gray option. You can leave it gray and run it like that. It's like a flat gray. But that gray is also a primer, which means you can paint it any color you want. So if you have your bike being custom painted, you could take the three grill pieces and have them painted the same color and then install them afterwards. And that gray comes primered, ready to paint right out of the box. So there's nothing extra you need to do as far as prep work. It's ready for paint right out of the bubble wrap that it comes in. Okay, guys, here's a quick glimpse at what the red, white, and blue looks like. Remember, on the other side, when we flip it over, it's going to be kind of opposite. So you're going to have red, white, and blue, and that's how we're going to install it. Uh, that will be a set that you can order in a separate listing, the red, white, and blue. Okay, so really cool design there. And then uh, don't forget to go check out my buddy Black Ice, his YouTube channel. I'll link it in the description below. Um, he will be showing you guys what an entire red three-piece set looks like okay so don't forget to go check him out if you want to see that entire three-piece red set all installed on the bike i'm sure he'll show us some video or some photos somewhere that you guys will be able to check out i'll link that down below give him a subscribe and a shout out leave a comment in one of his videos and let him know blr tuning sent you over there okay guys so there we go we got our new radiator grill for the panther customs front end our three-piece grill all installed looking real sharp uh, you can see our new badges there as well those fit the front and the back they will fit your panther customs hood so those are our new sugar skull design and you can get them to color coordinate with your grill so we have tons of stuff available for the Riker go check us out blrtuning.co I'll pull this out here in the sunlight we'll get some better shots of it See that new grill looks really sharp on that new front end. Don't forget to go check us out, blrtuning.co. Link in the description below. Go get your three piece grill while it's on sale. Panther Customs front end. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. I got nightmares in my head, I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear. That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy uh, And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer No exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out of the home, it sucks uh,